The universe speaks in symbols and synchronicities, and so do our spirit guides. Have you ever detected an unexplained presence or encountered recurring symbols or been touched by moments of deep intuition? Today, we're going to jump into the ethereal realm of spirit guides, those unseen entities who help navigate our soul's journey. When it comes to receiving messages from spirit guides, some people refuse to listen. Knock knock. Go away! Knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Your spirit guide. What are you, trying to stalk me? Yes, and you were supposed to say, my spirit guide who? Okay, let's try it again. Knock knock. Who's there? Your spirit guide. My spirit guide who? Your spirit guide who's trying to send you messages every day, but you're not paying attention to them. Why are you still stalking me? Spirit guides are benevolent entities that offer guidance, support, and insights to individuals on their spiritual journeys. While the presence of spirit guides is deeply personal and can vary from one person to another, there are often subtle signs that suggest they may be trying to communicate with you. In this video, we're gonna explore 10 common signs that your spirit guides are reaching out to you. They may have even led you to this video. Number one, symbolism. One of the primary ways spirit guides communicate is through symbolism. If you find consistent symbols or images appearing in your daily life, dreams or meditation sessions, Pay attention. These symbols may carry personal significance and serve as messages from your spirit guides. For example, have you ever gone through a rough period of time and then turned on the radio only to hear the most profound song with a comforting message for you? Yeah, that's one of the ways. You might see angel numbers throughout the day, such as 1111, but we'll talk about numeric synchronicities in a few minutes. You may even have a white feather appear out of nowhere. This is an ethereal gift from your guides and angels. In many cultures and spiritual traditions, feathers symbolize a connection to the divine and a presence of benevolent forces guiding our path. When a feather materializes unexpectedly, it's a gentle reminder that your spirit guide is close, offering support and encouragement in moments of uncertainty. These are all spirit guides trying to get your attention. Number two, intuitive insights. Another way your guides may contact you is through your intuition. If you ever experience sudden, clear insights or a deep knowing about a situation, you can thank your spirit guides for offering guidance from a higher perspective. Number three, feeling a presence. Have you ever just felt a presence around you as if it's embracing or hugging you? That my friends is a powerful sign of spirit guide communication. This could also manifest as a feeling that someone is watching over you or guiding you through challenges and providing a sense of reassurance. Number four, dream messages. Sometimes spirit guides will communicate through your dreams. If you find yourself receiving profound messages or guidance during your dream states, they're probably from your spirit guides who are sending important information and insights. Number five, sudden chills or goosebumps. You may experience physical sensations such as sudden chills or goosebumps without any apparent external cause when you're in the presence of your spirit guides or guardian angels. Number six, electronic device interference. Unexplained electrical phenomena such as flickering lights or unusual behavior in electronic devices can be a sign of spirit guide communications. Have you noticed any patterns? These things often come up around the same time you're inadvertently trying to connect with your spiritual side. 
Number seven, repetitive numbers. Spirit guides often use angel numbers as a means of communication. If you consistently see repetitive numbers, sequences, or patterns, such as on clocks or license plates, these may be symbolic messages offering guidance or affirmation. For example, you might go to the grocery store and your bill comes to $11.11, .11, or perhaps you filled your gas tank and you ended up getting 11.11 .11 gallons of gas. When this happens to you, think about what you were doing when you saw that number, or what you were thinking about when it happened. This might help give you a clue about what your spirit guide is trying to get you to pay attention to. Number eight, animal messengers. Animals are considered messengers in many spiritual traditions. If you notice the repeated presence of specific animals or birds, it could be your spirit guides using these creatures as symbolic messengers to convey important insights. Or if an unusual animal comes into your presence, you may want to research its spiritual and metaphysical meaning because chances are that animal was brought to you by your spirit guides and there's something the animal needs to teach you. Number nine feeling guided in decision-making. Spirit guides may intervene in your decision-making process, perhaps giving you a gentle nudge or perhaps you have a sense of being guided. Trust your instincts, especially in challenging situations, as this guidance may be your spirit guides trying to assist you. Number 10, signs in nature. Nature often serves as a medium for spirit guide communication. Far from mere coincidence, the arrangement of clouds, the patterns in leaves, the calls of animals, all can hold profound meaning if we learn to listen with the heart. It's a language waiting to be deciphered, a symphony of signs waiting to be heard. When these signs occur, you may want to ask yourself, what emotions did the experience evoke? Does it resonate with any recurring themes in my life? What message or guidance could this be offering? Deepening your connection with nature is the key to unlocking its wisdom. Spend time immersed in its quietude, whether it's a forest walk or a mindful moment watching birds flying by. Keep a nature journal recording your observations and intuitive whispers. Research the symbolic meanings of plants, animals, and natural phenomena in your area. The more you listen, the more attuned you become. But how often do we listen? Nature is a doorway to a deeper understanding of yourself and your connection to the unseen. Open your heart, sharpen your senses, and listen. Your guides are waiting to be heard. Bonus material from Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon's work through past life regressions confirms the existence of spirit guides. In her book, Between Death and Life, Cannon was told that guides are selected by the need at that period in a person's life. Some may be a guide throughout the incarnation. Others may be temporary or may come and go as needed. Through the course of a lifetime, we may have several different guides. Their functions change as our lives change. So if you're going through an unusually rough period in your life, you may want to consider requesting additional guides to help you get through it. All of the signs that our spirit guides are giving us, like finding a white feather or repetitive angel numbers, are reminders that you're never alone and that your spirit guides and guardian angels are with you, listening and sending guidance. What, are you stalking me? No, they're not stalking you. These are not coincidences. When you tune into their guidance, you'll hear it loud and clear. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to thank 
everyone who has helped to support my work on Patreon. Please join me there at patreon.com slash in5d and get a shout out on upcoming In5D production videos as well as being listed on our wall of gratitude featured on in5d.com. And if no one told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. Until the next time, I'm Greg Prescott from in5d.com, sending you all infinite love from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.